They must not. They don't know where that shot's coming from. And they're just, he's limping. They're holding his leg up. He got crutches on. Hold them, moly. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on, everybody? Fujimo here, back on another episode of The Hunter Call of the Wild. Hey, today, man, we've taken it back here to one of my favorite maps, Leighton Lake. Hadn't been on this map in a while. It's probably been about uh, at least six months. It may have been longer than that. But um, we're going to get out here on it and see if we can find something worth shooting at. I have not been on this map. I hadn't looked for anything, so we're going to see if we can uh, round up something here. Let's go to the map right quick. Um, over here in Renaki right now. So we're going to... we probably going to... i got some need zones. Let's see. Here we go. Got some need zones here, up this river here, probably all the way up through here where we're gonna go with it. That's where I kind of like to go. Now I used to, this used to be one of my favorite rivers to hunt right up through here. I don't know, like I said, I hadn't played this thing in a while, but I remember the last time I played it, there was no need zones up through there for whitetails. I don't know what the deal is up through there, but anyway, I don't know if they changed changed it around a little bit or what, but. We're going to try to go up through there. Um, that'll take a little bit. It may take, I don't know, probably an hour or maybe a little longer. If we don't see anything worth shooting, we're going to shoot some stuff. But I'd like to see if I can find something big on here. But anyway, if we don't see anything, we may come back down in here. These little lakes right here, there's some pretty good hot spots right through here. But uh, we'll try that out and see what happens. I'm going to get down here, this little coastline here, or bank or whatever you want to call it here, and go around this way. Um, this is pretty thick right through here. I'll probably walk right up on them or scare them off or whatever, but... Anyway, that's enough for me to rambling. We'll get down there and see what we can get into and see if we can get us a big one. Hope y'all enjoy it. All right, so I hope it didn't mess up here. I come, I tried to get over on this side so I could see. Let me take that marker off of there right fast. I don't know if I can do it like this or not. I think, well, there's the deer are. <laughs> Ooh, there goes one right there. 187. Uh, I tried to get over here. I don't look like they spooked. There's a couple good ones in there. 221, 204. 196. Looks like they're just feeding out here to this uh, need zone here. Anyway, what I was saying, I was trying to get around here on this side and kept watching my marker and I got real close to it. And I was afraid I was going to spook them off there, but looks like they're good to go here. We're good on the wind here. Let me get it right around here where we can see a little better. And we'll see if we can take a crack at a couple of these there. These are nice ones. There's a need zone somewhere right up in here, too. Oh, right there it is. Want to check that one out. 189 was well, a nice one right there. 194, 208. All right, we're real close to them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick out two of the biggest ones right here because they're gonna run when I shoot. Let's see what we can get here. All right, so this is gonna be a little tough here. I got a 221 and a 208, both in different different herds here. So I'm gonna try my best to crack one and then crack the other one. I believe that's just a 208 right there. Don't know if I can pull this off or not, but we're going to give it a shot and see what we can do with it. Got to find that 221. That's him right there. All right, let's see if we can take a crack at this one right here, and then we'll see if we can swing around and get that other one, as long as he ain't moved. Mmm. Hope he run. That didn't work out. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang right here and wait them out. I'm going to get right over here in the trees. And I'm going to hang right here and wait them out. Y'all hang tight. I'd actually got eyes on him right there. He's about 290 yards. Let's just see what we can do with him. It was a long shot. Probably terrible. Alright, Eli lost his, lost his color, so usually that means he's down, but I didn't see him fall, but... All right, well, just a long, wild shot on that one. Let's get on the other side here. We'll see if we can pick that other one up. I think he's laying, yeah, right there on the edge. All right, we'll get over and pick him up. All right, coming up on him here. Man, this is a pretty good spot right here. I have to come back and pull out a couple more here. Might produce a nice diamond right here in this area. All right, he's 185 pounds, 188 yard shot. Silver score. Got him in the right lung, liver, and the stomach. All right, let's get on up here. Come on, old Red, what you doing, man? Get out of that water, buddy. Taking a bath? <laughs> All right, let's get up here and see what we got here. We might have to uh, do a little tracking on this one. 
All right, so I'm in a general area where I killed him. I got some tracks right here. I don't see any blood. I'm just going to see if old Red can pick up on anything here. Not sure where. I think he went to the right right here, but what was that? Ooh, so I'm going to take that one right there. If I can. Get the gun up. Get the gun up. Stuck. Mm, that was a bad shot. Health's going down pretty good, though. He might fall here shortly. What you got, old Red? I hear you over there, buddy. What you got? Where is he? All right, I still hadn't found the track on that first one, or actually the second one I shot, but these deer are starting to feed back down through here. 181 there. Back up over here in these bushes here so they don't... Don't see me. I'm good on the wind there, so they probably can't smell me. Here comes another one out. So, a lot of does here. Pretty good one right there. 204. Huh. Like he's probably going to go down. He's dropping in health really quick. He went down right there. So, alright. So, we got... <laughs> so, we should have three down. I'm going to go... I'm going to go pick that one up in the one I just shot up here in the rock, so I think he's down. But I still hadn't found the second one that I shot. We'll find him. All right, so I just saw this one right here. This may be the second one I shot right here. We'll see what the score is on him. Nope, he was a big boy. Silver score. Got him in the, uh, I don't know, that might have been him. 519 yard tracking distance. Shot him 301 yards. I believe that might have been the second one I shot right there. Oh. That was that was a darn good shot. Got him left alone. I thought it was bad. All right, so we'll pick that one up. And I see, yeah, I see one glowing right here. Where old Red's got him up here. Appreciate it, old Red. You the man. Oh. Where you at, Red? What you got here, buddy? You got one, man? All right, buddy. All up in the bushes. Nice horns on that sucker. All right, that one was a 60-yard shot, so that's the one I just shot right there. He's real wide, but he wasn't main beams are not that long. He was a bronze score, bad shot on him. Shot him in the hind end back there. All right, so there should be one more right up here at the top of these rocks. So if that's the case, I should have them all. Where's that old Red? I might find him before he does. Oh, he's tracking. Coming to you, buddy. There's blood right there. Oh, vital organ hit. Oh. Coming, Red. Oh, I see him glowing up there. Come on, boy. He's up here. <laughs> ah, so we finally got them all. This is the last one right here. Man, he, got a, he got a nice rack on him. Good looking rack. There he is, Red. Oh, he's a bronze score, non vital. Yeah, crazy. That was a crazy shot I made on that sucker. All right, 164-yard shot, 194 pounds. We'll accept him. We'll rock on here. Let's see where we're going now. All right, we're going to continue on up the river up through here. We'll check out some of these needs on right here. See what they will produce. Here we go. All right, so we're coming up on this next need zone here, and I don't see a nothing in sight. That's for dang sure. That's where I got it marked at. All right, so I guess we'll carry on to the next one. It is a deer zone, right? Yes, yeah, a white tail, and this right here is a white tail. All right, you don't up here this next one, see what we can find out in that one. All right, so apparently these deer were over the hill, and I couldn't see them right here. So <laughs> I was running up through here, and I said, "Oh Lord, look over there to the right." Let's see what we got. What's a wide one right there? One eighty-three. Ooh, that might be a good one right there. Uh, 220, yeah, 257, we're going to take that one. Let me check my, that's a nice one. Let me check my kill zone here and make sure it ain't red. But we'll see what we can do here. We may take both of them big deer. All right, so let's take a crack at these son of guns here. Look like a, you know, what the crap? Ease. Huh, got on that one. Huh, missed him. I pulled a Fuji move there. That's all we're gonna go. I know he ain't running too far. They must not. They don't know where that shot's coming from. That there just—he's limping. He's holding his leg up. He got crutches on. Holy moly! Oh man! At the time I pulled the trigger, he run. 
Maybe we got enough bullets, we'll kill that son of a gun. <laughs> Alright, so the other one actually started coming back out here. Mm, we're going to take him. Boom, baby, he is on the ground. Alright, we got two down over there now. Let's run on over and see if we can pick them up right quick. Alright, so we should be... Yeah, here he is right here. This is one that had the crutches on, man. Here he is right here. Yeah. Good shot on that last one, man. I wish I could have got a good shot. It's going to be a terrible score. Let's knock the weed down here where we can see the grass. I mean, see the grass. Where we can see his horns. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a good thick one there, buddy. Too bad we didn't get to see the score on him. I know I screwed that shot up. Man, no, I didn't. He come out to a gold score. What in the world? Yeah, man, look at that right there. Got him in the flesh, liver, right lung, stomach, left lung. Took about 47 shots. We got him. He's a nice deer right there. Gold score. All right, let's go over and see if we can find this other one. We're blasting. He should be laying right over here. Here he lays right here. He would, didn't go far at all. I think he dropped right on the hammer there, buddy. Boom, yeah. All right, let's check him out. He's just bagging them regular little old, regular old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, let's get him. 177 pound, 211 yard shot, and he was 180 score, silver score. All right, let's carry on up the river here, 406 yards to the next one. We'll go see what he's got. All right, I come around to the right side of this little pond here, but I don't see nothing at all out there. going to be like the one we just come from up. Whoa, what in the crap was that? <laughs> Scared the crap out of me, moose. Moosey, moosey, probably laying down up in there. Anyway, what I said, they must not have, they must not be coming to that need zone like I thought they wasn't the last one, but we'll get around here a little closer and make sure they're not over a hill or something. Yeah, I don't see anything out there at all. Eh? Nothing there, we'll carry on, we'll go on to the next one. And it should be right here. All right, let's rock and roll over and see what we got. All right, so I had to kind of work around this little pond here. It's, it was kind of crazy, but the wind was wrong, so it took me forever to get over here. But we're finally over here now. Can't see a damn thing, of course. <laughs> Bushes everywhere. Hope we don't scare them off here. I need to crouch down, I guess. When we get up here in the clearing here, we'll see if there's anything out there. All right, so it looks like we have struck out again on this need zone. Nothing here at all there's two in a row let me check the time here make sure we ain't out of our 11:47. okay that might be part of the problem let me uh it ain't part of the problem it's gonna be the problem all right let me run up here to a uh let me run back over here to a cabin and we'll set the time back to eight and see if we can get them back out here dang where's the cabin at Long way, all the way back down here. Good night. All right, let's fast travel down there, and then we'll set the time back. We'll run back up here, see if we can catch anything in here. We might uh, we might have to end it right here on the next big one here. We're getting a little long here on the video. All right, we got to set back to 8 o'clock here. It's going to take me a little while to get back up through there. I told you it'd probably take about an hour. We've been been going for right at an hour now, so uh, am going to have another five minutes or so to get back up here to this 700 yards. So give me a few minutes. We'll get up there and see if there's anything in there. And, all right, we're getting back up here to it now. Let's see if we got anything. I don't see nothing. Hadn't quite got there yet, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. I'm just gonna I'm gonna blow on through it right here, and we're gonna go on up to this one right here. Where we at on the map, man? See, we are still way down here, and it's been an hour in already. So uh, let's go let's go check these three right here. We'll probably call it after that right there. Let's go with this one first. Let's see, that is a yeah, white tail. All right, get over and see what that one's got. All right, we're like right on top of this thing here, and I don't see anything at all over here at all. Don't know what's going on here. I don't know. They moved to a different need zone or what's happening here, but they sure ain't nothing here. I hadn't heard anything. I'm going to go over and see if there's any tracks or anything. There's no tracks over at that last need zone we went to. Don't look like it's going to be anything here. Unless we just run up on it right here. All right, not a thing here. I mean, nothing at all. Let's see if we can uh, find another need zone. Should be one right over in there, in that general area. Yeah, looks like a pretty good ways off. All right, 422. All right, we'll run over to that one and see what we got. All right, so we're coming up on this one right here. Let's see if we got uh, anything at all in this one here. It does not look like it unless they're in those weeds over there. 
don't see anything at all, man. We done blew through two or three knee zones with nothing at all. Oh. Oh, oh, here comes something right here. Gee, are they late getting to these knee zones? What's going on here? Over down right here. We're going to take one of these. I don't know where they're going, but they're running this way. Is they traveling? That time change may have, uh, may have changed. They may have respawned or something. I don't know. As long as we can crack one of these, we've been going too long not to pick us out a good one here. The 157. I think he's going a little better than that. I could be wrong. Oh, he's grunting. I hear you. He's down. Oh, man. Pull the Fujimo. <laughs> All right. That was going to be two good shots. Still might be one if we can get him to slow down here. Nah, I'm going to let him go. All right. That gum it. See if there's anything coming into this one over here. I thought we had we gave them plenty of time to get to them need zones, but maybe maybe the reset. I guess it was not long enough. Usually it's tw about 20 minutes, and they there, and we've been way over 20 minutes. So where you going? All right, that was a silver score. We're just gonna call him and move on. If we see anything at all over here, if it was something over there, it probably ran because it's not that far to it. All right, there they go. I think there's a need zone right there close by. Let's see, right there. 270 out. It could be. They don't even act like they're coming back or nothing. But we just run on over there. We'll check this need zone right here. We're probably going to cut it off right here on this one. All right, so we hunted out here. I don't see anything at all again. But those ones we shot or run off should be coming back. They come right through here. So we might just wait and see if they come on back and take one of them right quick. I'm going to get down here just a little bit closer here in the opening where I can see a little better step in these bushes right here. Right, I see a little movement up in here. Heard a call just now, so they should be coming back. Yeah, there's one right there, I believe, yeah. Right, so here comes here comes a doe back. So there's a 187. Looks like a 202 score on that one. Or whoa, what scared me? I saw that three very easy. I thought that, I thought that's gonna be a diamond white tail. <laughs> All right. So there was about three or four pretty good bucks in this crowd. If I can get, if I can take maybe two more of them. One of them right there. I don't see what the other ones. I think they might be a little bigger. We'll see what's going on here. We'll hang up right here in, the, in this tree here and see what we can find. All right, these are still coming out. Looks like they're going across over there. Now that could be. That possibly could be the ones going to that need zone over here on this side. I don't think it's the same deer as I run off after that last one I shot. Yeah, and I see here comes some more. Now, these are coming the opposite direction, what I was thinking. These deer here, man, I don't mind it. It's taking them a long time to get to that need zone. I hear you. Look at there. It's almost 9 o'clock. They ain't there. That's, that ain't, that's not normal, I don't think. Them's going that way, and we got a couple, three or four coming this way. So I'm going to take a couple of these. All right, so these over here is drinking right here, so this must be their zone. So we'll take... Probably both of these, and if I can get a shot at one of these, if they'll stop, I may take a crack at him, too. We ain't wiping them out on this map, ain't we? <laughs> Another one of them coal missions, that's for sure. All right, let's see what we can do, do right here and get maybe a couple of these. All right, there's two right there. Let's see what's happening over here. Oh, these, these here are going to run. We'll just let them go. We'll save them for the next time. Save them for the next touch, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go pick these up, man. All right, so it looks like we got two good shots. We got two laying right here. Don't like they run too far. Here's the first one right here. He's gonna be, he's gonna be 175 pounds, a 96 yard shot, and he's gonna be a silver score 177. We'll take him. 
And we'll pick this one up right here. Alright. So the reason I try to shoot all these level 2's is I've, I've heard just by watching other hunting videos that if you shoot all the level 2's, you're more likely to spawn a diamond or a great one. So that's kind of the method behind the madness. That's why I've been doing all that on these maps. I do it a lot. Like I said, I usually don't record them, but I figured since I hadn't been late in a while, I'd come on over here and see what was going on. Don't look like too much of nothing, but I didn't get to go up too far. I mean, stopping right here, I wanted to go all the way up here, but man, we're an hour and 30 into it now. hope I can get this thing shortened up for you. All right, well, that's going to have to do it for this episode of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll catch you all on the next hunt.